What is going on everyone? Well, welcome back to the channel. Sean here with another video for you guys. And while I was editing this video right here, I noticed I did not shoot the intro for this video. So here we are shooting the intro. You'll see in the video how we got some fish for the 110 gallon tank. You probably just got to see one of them. We got two very, very cool fish for this tank right here. I would have gotten more, but the thing is saltwater fish cost a lot of money and they are way more expensive than freshwater fish. And also the most important thing, my bank account just doesn't allow me to get all the fish I want right away as soon as I want to for this tank. So my bank account didn't let me and saltwater fish are way more expensive. So like the video guys, stay tuned for the entire thing, like the video, watch the entire thing, subscribe to the channel and shop Aqualife. You'll see how we pick these guys up. So let's head over to the fish store and you'll see how we got them. So let's go. Look at their main tank right here. They got a variety of fish. Look at this flamingo. Has some very, very nice blue dots on them. He has a lot of blue dots on them actually. There's a couple blue tangs right there. A unicorn tang right here. A little fire fish right there. And they even have a butterfly fish in here. Look at all the corals. This chalice is very, very nice. Some recordios. Look at the Duncans. This tank is very, very nice. They got a bunch of clams in here. They even got some little tiny baby ones right there. There's three of them, a different type right there, and a bunch of blue and purple ones right here. And these guys are pretty big right here. Look at this dog face puffer. Look at his face. Look at him. Look at how red this grouper is. This guy looks sick. Look at him. This guy is super, super red. So we are gonna take the panther grouper, just look at him. This guy looks so freaking cool. And he's out and swimming. So this is the guy we're gonna take. I think I've done it that long before. two fish for the 110 gallon tank we got the fox face right there in the styrofoam box and then the panther grouper is in the orange bucket so let's go home now and get these guys acclimated all right guys so we are now home we have the fish right here it is extremely extremely late it's like two in the morning i had something to do at school so we got caught up with that so the fish have been in the bag for quite a while so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this back a little bit. Let's see, oh, like that. And now we are gonna get our fox face. He is pretty, pretty big, at least four or five inches big. As you can see, he's doing pretty good as long as he's not breathing super, super hard or on his side, we are good. So we're just gonna put him right here and we're gonna leave him there for the next 20 or 30 minutes. And I'm gonna get a cup, we're gonna get some water and pour it in here. We're gonna get about a good portion of water. 
and just throw it in here with the panther grouper and I'm gonna keep adding water every 10 minutes and we will be back once we put them in the tank. All right, so it's been about 20 to 25 minutes and we're gonna be putting the fox face in first. So let's get right to it. We're gonna get this right over here. Just pop the bag right open. All right, so that it took, it was a pain to take off the rubber bands, but we finally got it off. And now, I just gotta be careful with this guy because he is venomous. So I do not wanna get stung by him, so that's why we are doing it like this. Oh, my God. That did not work. So, let's try this again. So like I was saying, this guy is venomous. You do not want to get stung by him. It's not terrible if you get stung by him. Some people say it's like a bee sting. And others will say, well, only if you're allergic to a bee sting, it will be pretty bad for you. But other than that, you should be good. Um, the only part that is venomous is their dorsal spines. But like I was saying, usually people it's nothing fatal or anything, but you still you still don't want to get stung by him. So let him go on his own. And look at that. He is a very, very nice size. There are going to be some very big fish in this tank. So we cannot have any small fish in there. So let's get on with the last guy. This guy's going to be a little tough. All right, so now we got to put the big boy in. And this guy is very, very big. He is going to be splashing around a lot. So let's try and make this as clean and as quick as possible. So I'm just gonna grab him. All right, that was pretty quick. Come here, take a good look at him. Look at the size of this guy. This guy is just quite massive. Look at him. He is a pretty, pretty big grouper. And just in case like that, he won't jump out. He was actually pretty peaceful. And just look at him. He is a very, very nice grouper. And we'll just let him go out on his own. And be free, buddy. Be free. He's going to pick a cave. Hopefully he doesn't hide the whole time. Oh, but at the fish store, he was out and about. So that is very, very good. Look. He looks very, very cool with the white body and the black spots. But like I said, guys, I am exhausted right now. I want to go to sleep. So we will come back in the morning and we'll see how they're doing. And then we'll pick up the camera from there. So I'll be right back. So it's been 48 to 72 hours since we've added the fish. And as you can see, both of them are out and swimming, especially the grouper. This guy has been swimming the whole time. This is one of the very few groupers that I've ever seen that he's always out and swimming. Usually groupers are hiding in between the caves or on the ground. Uh, it's very weird, but this guy, he is out and swimming. I freaking love this guy, he's super, super cool. This is actually the very first group I've ever had, ever kept, ever owned. So this guy is super, super cool and he eats like crazy. We are gonna feed him in the video, but you see this guy, he'll come back out too, so you'll see. And then the fox face, he's still been very uh, timid and uh, skittish a little bit. He's been swimming out a little bit, but he stays in the caves a little bit just like that. He'll come out a little bit, go back. Um, he's been eating very, very little too, but it's only been a day, uh, about two or three days since he's been in the tank. But the grouper, he's getting right to it. He eats like crazy. And this guy is super, super cool. We need a name for the grouper. I'm thinking of calling him Polka, but we'll see you guys comment that down below I, I really like this guy we are gonna feed him some krill right now a small piece of krill right here this guy is gonna destroy it instantly and i think he already yep he already knows i'm gonna feed him this guy's already like freaking used to me feeding him and it's only been two days this guy's super super cool let me defrost it a little before him make sure he doesn't just come straight at me this guy's going oh don't come right at me. All right, 
That should be good enough. I'm gonna show you guys the size of it really quick. It's not crazy big, but this guy's gonna destroy it right now. Look. Boom. Just like that. This guy eats a lot too, so we're good. we'll give him another piece too. This small piece right here. It looks like a lot, but it's just mostly ice. So we'll defrost it, go to move. actually two pieces here. And groupers, they can eat a lot. They can eat all day. They eat a lot of stuff. All right, so now we defrosted it. We got two pieces right here. They're pretty tiny, but he would freaking destroy it anyway, so look. Oh, right behind you. Nope, behind you, buddy. Behind you. Oh, where'd it go? It went all the way to the back. I don't know where it went though. Oh, I see it. Hopefully it'll get picked up by the current. Yep, it's getting picked up. Yep, you'll see it back here in a second. Yep, it's over here to the left. It'll get back to him, watch. We'll get back to him eventually. But let's give him this piece right here. Throw it in the Boom, just like that. Two for two and the other piece is somewhere around there. But this guy is super, super cool. I freaking love this guy. We'll, we'll get one more piece for him then. There you go, this guy can eat all freaking day. We'll get another piece right here. He'll get that piece later. Defrost it good. So there's two pieces here, I think. Yep, two pieces. So we'll give him this one right here. Um, I want him to get in the water, boom. He was, he was a little bit more aggressive earlier, the other day, but today he's being gentle with them. I don't know why, but whatever. It's cool, let's go. I'm gonna throw it down. Boom. This guy can eat all freaking day. I could probably give him a whole pack of krill just to himself. But this guy eats like a lot. Today was actually the first day I fed him more than like two or three. We had fed him like four. And let's see if that one get, is that one gonna come back over here? Come on, that little piece needs to come over here. Let me turn up the, the wave maker. Oh, yep. Like I said, it's gonna come back around. I told you, watch, he's gonna get it too. This is gonna be the fifth piece. Boom. This guy is so freaking cool. And then the, the fox face, he doesn't eat that. He eats a little bit of like uh, brine shrimp. So I fed him a little bit earlier. He doesn't really eat too much. He's still a little very, he's still very skittish, but that is okay. It's only been two or three days and that's how fox faces are. It's kind of annoying, but whatever. Eventually, look, I don't know if you saw that, but he did go for a little piece right there, but it's all right. Eventually he will start eating. And then you see, look, he did try to go for like a little piece of krill, like the little pieces that fall off. But whatever. He is going to eventually start eating and he will start coming out. He's just being very, very skittish. If you guys kept fox faces, you know that sometimes this happens. And sometimes it could take a while to get accustomed to the tank. I didn't think he would do this because he's going to be the only fish in the tank. But it is what it is. As long as he's nice and colored up and he's still eating, that's fine with me. But that's all that I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about the fish we got today. Polka, I think that's we're gonna, what we are going to call him. He is very, very cool. Our panther grouper and our fox face. Oh, look. You see, he's like, you see, he's like, oh, there we go. Damn, I don't know if you guys saw that or not. But there's, you see, like, those little pieces? He's, like, eating the little pieces that's around. But you see, that's good. As long as they're trying to eat and, you know, just not you know what i'm saying not stressed it's just gonna take him a while to get accustomed to the tank but as you can tell our panther grouper this guy he was accustomed to like the first 10 minutes but whatever that's all that i got for you guys the next video that's gonna come out if you guys have stayed throughout the whole entire video we are gonna be putting the flamingi into this tank i thought the flamingi was gonna be the first fish we were gonna put in here but i was wrong i saw this guy had to buy him he was super cool and that's what we did so stay tuned, shop Aqualife, follow the Instagrams, uh, Aqualife Sean and Aqualife Brand. So yeah guys, 
follow those two Instagrams, subscribe to the channel, like the video. That's all that I got for you guys today. Let me know what you think about the fish again. And I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. Peace.